Hi, my name is Trim Master 04, and as you can see, here is yet another unopened box from Lionel, which means it is time for yet another unboxing video. So, let's get into it and see what's inside of it. Union Pacific 4014, do you read me? Over. Roger that. Union Pacific 4014, I read you. Over. Start up and stand by. Over. Yes, sir. Start up and stand by. Well, alrighty, I've taken my phone off its stand and put the box down on the floor. And finally, I've got my knife in my hand, so let's go ahead and see what is inside this box. And again, like usual, I'm trying to do this while trying to do camera action while opening the box at the same time, so excuse the poor cam camera ship, so to speak. Around. Open that up. Put my knife away. And then finally, open it up. And as you can see, the box is something interesting. It's still the standard Lionel Orange. And here you can see it is finally arrived. The Union Pacific 119. Now, let me go and get it out of its shipping box, set it on the table, and then pull the locomotive and tender out of the box and actually go ahead and show you what these two items look like. Alrighty, as you can see, I got the main box out of its shipping box, and still I'm carrying it by carrying the camera with my hand. So let me go and see if I can still continue to do this one-handedly and get this locomotive out of its box. Use my, use my big old feet as well. <laughs> Now, something I do want to mention, I know Ryan with over at Lionel, he did a Facebook Live event because he was too just darn excited to show these locomotives. And that is, and one of the things that he mentioned was how light these are. Now, I will be doing a full product review of both the locomotive and the matching passenger cars in the near future as soon as I get the other product reviews done that are on my list. So, without further ado, here is the 119. And man, again, like Ryan said, he was not kidding. These are some small locomotives. And also, as he said, here's some extra pieces, some pins, and then a fire rake, which only comes in coal-burning locomotives, a new type of tool for the bolts or the for the side rods and for the traction tires but anyway let's take out these two little pieces oh this is so t hems oh the smoke box door does come open alrighty I wasn't I wasn't expecting that and again, as you can see, I have not opened this locomotive before, and I've never seen it before in person, only by the video. And holy moly, holy mackerel, Batman. <laughs> oh, wow, how gorgeous. How gorgeous. And how tiny. Oh, man. Let's look at the tender real quick as well. Oh, how pretty. Now, something I do need to mention, and reason why I'm so excited about these products is I actually did pre-order these on May 10th, the day of, or of 2019, the day when these models actually were finally released. They've been, Lionel did a great job of, how should I say, teasing about it, um, giving sneak peeks about it, and I was so excited when they finally came out, but the price... <laughs> Not too pretty, but um, for what it's worth looking at it, it is gorgeous. Now, I'm going to go and get some cotton gloves on because these, to me, this is one of those products that I do not want to get fingerprints on. As you can see, the brass on it is just immaculate. And also, Lionel did a extra thick coat of gloss on this, so I do not want, the finger, want my fingerprints to get on it. So, let me go and put my phone back on its stand, put the gloves on, and then finally get into 
it's a locomotive, take it out and put it on the track, hook up the passenger cars right behind it, and let y'all see what it looks like with both of them finally together. Alrighty, I've got some cotton gloves on, which I do need to mention do not come with the locomotive itself, but in this case, I'm putting them on because, like I said earlier, the gloss and the brass, I do not really want to get fingerprints on them. So, let me go on around and just carefully, oh boy, how am I going to do this? Um, probably just pick it up by the cab or not. <laughs> The thing is, is that these locomotives are just so finely detailed. These are definitely locomotives that you do not want to go and carry about to train shows all the time. So these are more shelf queens than anything else. Oh boy. Actually, I think it's going to be best for me to not have the gloves on. To just, in the just for the case of me having to... Take it out of the box, golly. A, um, a plus for the packaging, Lionel. <laughs> I can't say that, it, it, A plus for that. So, oh man, those flag stanchions don't help any. Put my finger in there. There we go, okay. The wire tether was hung on it and there she be. The 119 out of her box. I'll fold up that onion paper and such in a minute. And looking at it, she is just gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Take this foam out before I go and forget about it. Try not break anything. And again, my goodness, how light it is. It is just extremely light. And I'm so glad that Lionel went ahead and actually made the boiler die cast. Though, yes, it does defeat the meaning of the brass hybrid in a sense of the locomotive having primarily brass and then die cast. It, though it does, and before I go and put it down, here is the beautiful tender. Oh man. Look at those red wheels. The back. It's just a beautiful paint scheme. Lionel, y'all did a great job. Take the accessory pack out before going to forget it and put the box up and everything. Uh, put it out in the com uh, go into the comments section and see and go and see. To, and I imagine I'm not the only one, but go in the comment section and say if you've done that before. You go and forget something in the box, and you put the box up, and there it is, and you just mess up. But anyway, put it on the track. I'm going to try and pick up the one night, the locomotive itself. I'm going to need its face because I do not want to get fingerprints on that paint scheme. But voila. There she is, all in her glory. But anyway, let me go and change the camera position, hook up the locomotive, get the cards out, hook them up behind the locomotive, and then show you what it looks like. Well, here she is with her matching passenger cars. I do need to say that it took me a good while to actually put the pins in, and for those of you who have one of these locomotives and are still waiting for them and actually see this video, let me just say, if you have a whole lot of confidence that you could do this under one minute, good luck. I'd like to shake your hand if you could do because my goodness, it took me a long time to get it, to get them both put on there. And since this section of track is unballasted, I accidentally dropped the pins through in between the ties a few times. And let's just say that was not fun trying to get them back out. So Lionel, if you do see this video, please, make some spare ones in the near future because I can see a whole lot of earaches coming from the other people who have purchased this locomotive wanting some more of these pins because I can highly see them being a good accessory to your shag carpet in your house. But anyway, on to my f initial thoughts about this locomotive and so far just wow. 
it is just a beautiful locomotive. I love the pinstriping, the scroll work on it. It's just top notch. The detail, oh my goodness, is just phenomenal. I'm just flabbergasted and just speechless. It even, I dare say, it's so good. It surpasses even my Legacy Vision Line Big Boy. And that locomotive has more detail than even die-cast model locomotives have. And this just, my goodness, Lionel, y'all did a great job. The paints, the paint job is just immaculate, very well done, and very, very clean. Especially the cab with how y'all were able to laser print all of the wood grains to make it look like it's simulated wood, when in reality, it is made out of metal. So, my mind is just blown with it. Now, there was one little side note, and one little problem I do have with this locomotive. Not necessarily the locomotive or the cars physically, but instead more of collector-wise. And that is individual numbers. I have asked this multiple times on the forum when I posted a thread about updating or updating everybody in the hobby or the community about this locomotive on what happened to it. Because when I opened this box, when I opened the locomotive and took it out of its box, I was expecting to see at least a certificate or some type of piece of paper that says what number I have because in the Volume 2 2019 catalog, which these brass hybrids were listed in, in the feature section, a few listings below, it shows individually, individually numbered, which means Lionel, and they also clearly stated this, were not going to produce these locomotives ever again and also in small numbers. So, Lionel, if you're watching this, what in the world happened? Because... As I stated earlier in this video, I, the reason why I pre-ordered this locomotive at a very, very near date, which actually the day of when they were released, was because I wanted to get a very low number. So, because I didn't get an individual number, then what was my point of waiting a year and a half for a locomotive that does not have an individual number when I was told I was going to, and also why in the world is what is the use of me going and pre-ordering the day when they were released to then be told, oh, no, we are not going to go and do individual numbers. Because on my collect in my collection, I am both an operator and a collector, which means if I can make a good collection, or if I can get a product that has a low number in this case, or something that is unique and different, that is one of a kind, I'm going to try and get it as best as I can, and hopefully in the near future, if I do pass away, my children or my grandchildren can actually make a buck off of my collection, and hopefully they gain in value. So, that's why I'm a bit disappointed about it. But besides that, it is just a beautiful locomotive. It, Lionel, really did went out and over the, shot over the moon with this model. It is highly detailed and just extremely beautiful. Well, that's about it for this unboxing video, but before I go, let me actually answer the question in the sense of, am I actually going to do a product review or of this locomotive and passenger cars, or am I going to leave it right here? Well, actually, I am not. I plan on doing a full product review and running of this locomotive in the near future, but first, as I've stated in my previous video, which is up which was announcing my 150th subscriber breakthrough of my channel. I am currently working on two product reviews and then thereafter a layout tour. But once I get those three videos uploaded onto YouTube, this will be my number one priority to get videoed. And hopefully soon, y'all will be able to see and witness the great beauty and care that Lionel took into producing these models. But anyway, my name is Trainmaster04, and I'll be seeing you next time.